everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Land! It's been so long since we've been here. I think it's been something like three months. Has it really been three months? I think it might have been. Um, so, here we are in Jurassic World Alive, three months later. So, the first question that I'm assuming you have for me is, uh, why? Why, why, why so long? Why, why, what, what, what happened? Well, for a start, um, ah, there's, there's so many different things. Basically, I think it was, I wasn't having fun playing the game. Not that I, I, I'm still really having fun playing the game. Um, there is some aspects that are still fun. I still play this daily. I log in to do my daily rewards. I help out my alliance. Um, and of course, generally in my position, because this is a Jurassic game and I cover a lot of dinosaur stuff on the channel, you never know when something interesting might come to Jurassic World Live. Like we had Scorpius Rex, we've had Indoraptor, you know, we've had stuff from other Jurassic franchises come into this one and, you know, we've I've needed to cover it. Um, so I need to keep up with it. Now, there have been some good things that have happened to this game recently. They now have, like, a login thing. Don't know what that's really a part of. And I know this is really far away, but I'm just going to get this so I can unlock it. I'm going to waste one. The only unique thing I've got here, uh, especially on an iPad where I can barely dart properly. On my phone, pretty good at getting this one. Uh, I've encountered it once before and I did really well. This one, however, is far away and on my iPad. So, yes, 106 great. Hey, didn't do it for that, though. Also, um, I'm going to do the uh, tournament that's just come to an end as of the day of recording. Um, so, let's have a look at my dinosaurs. We're here for multiple reasons. Uh, one of them being that there is a new dinosaur coming to the game that is an Apex uh, I think it's an apex, right? What, what are these apexes? The 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 orange? Yeah, th these ones. These are apexes, omegas. It's it's ridiculous. Um, and it's basically gonna. It feels like, you know, they always add new dinosaurs for a reason, and that's to be the the new best. And the meta gets very boring, and I, you know, it. That's one of the reasons why I stopped because it just it just kept on going and becoming the same. Remember Rexy? Rexy was used all the time. Then. This guy came out, Tyrannometrodon, that used Rexy. And now, they're going to add an apex above it that's going to, you know, be more widely used. And of course, you know, I spent... You saw how much money I spent on getting Rexy. Now look at this. We have Tyrannometrodon. I've got it level 30 because it, you know, was good and well used. Now it's also getting a hybrid. So that means that all of its ingredients I'm going to need to make the next hybrid is ridiculous honestly um but this is all of the dinosaurs all the ones that have managed to come out since i stopped playing and i've deliberately not made them uh just because i i want to know when my interest really stopped and since then it, i mean i think this is like one uh hybrid that i don't have which is the Again, like Rexy, you had the snow leopard whatever it was and now that's got a hybrid the with the massive chin I don't know what's going on with the game. I'll be honest. It feels as though the... What are these ones called again? The Omega creatures are a reset. It's 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 way too complicated what's going on with the game now. There's way too many useless dinosaurs. And it's just... I don't want to have a degree in Jurassic World Alive to play it. That's not the reason I play, I play games. I play games to have fun. Yes, to an extent, I enjoy, you know, uh, you know, the meta and I enjoy, you know, being competitive and all this jazz. But for this game, it's there's just too much. There's, it's too complicated. There's too many bugs. And don't like it, basically. Um, so, uh, as you can see, there's still some things on the map to get. I want to get this. I also want to do the tournament before it ends. And we really need to crack on with that tournament. Because, uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think I've got three out of ten, uh, what's it called? Knockouts. And I, I need to get, like, a couple more. Uh, but I also want to look at the new dinosaurs that are coming. Some of them look cool. Cryolophosaurus looks like a cool one. 
Uh, which is interesting because it's the same Cryolophosaurus that was in Jurassic World, the game, but now coming over to Jurassic World Alive, which is interesting. Um, and there is, like I said, it's the Tyrannometrodon with Schoonosaurus. Uh, and Schoonosaurus, I think, was the long neck that was put in the game for the main purpose to replace Ardentus Maximus. Now, no one uses Ardentus Maximus, hasn't for a long time. I've never really ever seen a Schoonosaurus used either uh, since that got nerfed. And now we're seeing like a massive... Uh, the thing is, it, it's, it's also ridiculous the amount of moves it's getting. It's getting so many moves and the icons are ridiculous. I think the icons are being worked on, they're not final. Uh, but it's just like, what, what are you guys doing? You know what it is? It's it's what it, what when this game came out, it was as if it was a dish, and there wasn't enough stuff on it. It was like you went to a fancy restaurant and you got given like tiny little things, and you're like, well, I'm hungry, I want more. And as the years have went by, this game has just added more and more stuff to it to the point where I'm I'm not even hungry anymore. I'm looking at it like that's way too much. I can't digest that. Like what what is this? Um, it made sense with the common, the rares, the epics, um, and then you got the, the legendaries, or was it the, I can't remember, the green ones, I, I don't even know, and it kind of made sense, like, okay, well, those are the hybrids, are. and then all of a sudden we have Rexy, who's in there, who's not a hybrid, and then we've got these, these uber creatures, or whatever, omega creatures, that now have not only regular boosts, enhancements, god knows whatever, but they have so many other things. And there is so many of these Omegas. Like if we have a look, actually, I'll select by rarity. Uh, here we go. So I've got, this is where my, you know, where I am at the moment. Like level 15 Toro or Diablo, but it's getting, you know, I'm at level 15 now. I'm going to level up these whenever, you know, once a month, maybe. I don't even know because I think they're updating it. So instead of getting 12 from a direct hit, you get 24 from a direct hit now, which isn't so bad because especially with the amount of DNA you need, it's ridiculous how many you're going to get. But uh, yes, let's hold on. Let's quickly go in here before we look at the new uh, dinosaur or new updates that are basically coming out for this. Now, this tournament... I gotta admit, normally tournaments are a pain in the ass, but then I saw the roster and I was like, you know what? There's no, like, epics. There's, it's, a, it's basically commons and rares. Um, oh, sorry, and these guys too. Completely forgot about you. Pounce and bite! I think it's dead. Oh, no, I'm alive! Sweet! Ah! How, wait, how quick are you? 132. Ah. Yeah! Oh, I thought oh, I would have killed it if it didn't have armor. That's a bugger. Well, we'll put in Miragaya. Is this Miragaya? Oh! Oh! Ooh, level 11. Oh, God! Yes, I have a counter which does damage, but I'm probably going to be stunned by this. No! Ooh, do I have resistance to stun? No, I don't. Sweet! Right. Get the shield up, I suppose. He's only got two moves, and he'll probably... Oh, no, we can't even do that other one. That's interesting. So, resilient strike. I hit him, and then... Yeah, he's dead. And then I'll heal my next turn. Oh, cool. Yeah, most of the times, tournaments are super stressful and annoying. And I don't blame people in my alliance who are like, Oh, sorry, I didn't do that at 10. I just... I just couldn't... Eat. Like, the thing is, it just... It takes so freaking long. Oh god, this guy's just put... It doesn't matter what level the things are. I was like, ah, I'll put it in. It's fine. It'll, it'll work. Um, like, the thing is, the tournaments lend themselves well if you've got a lot of resources and you've got a lot of dinosaurs that are high level and maxed up, kind of. And I don't. Uh, or I do, sorry, but not specific ones. And you need the specific good ones because the tournament, you know, sort of changes all around. Um, and different dinosaurs, which, which which is good. But the thing is, mainly you're focusing on your best team, your best creatures for PvP, because that's where it counts, right? That's where you get your good incubators. It's where you unlock new dinosaurs and DNA and such. Um, uh, is it gonna heal a lot? Devour? Yeah, I'll just uh, why not? I'll switch in galley. Cool. We're having a full team of uh, the new commons being the Omegas versus the original commons. Ah! To be honest, the Omegas, are, they're, they're doing pretty well. 
I think I can probably just go for the switch now. I think I can go for the switch, get Mirror Gaia in for free, and then just go for heal next turn. Yeah, I think so. Unless he decides to swap, but I don't think he will. Uh, either way. Yeah, this one doesn't seem so bad just because it's like, how how can I get mad if we're only using commons and rares? You know, unless like a level 30, um, what you call it, Raptor comes in with max speed and max attack and is like, oh, I see. I see what we're doing. Is there anything for swapping out? No! <laughs> and I think, do I have priority with my heal? I think priority. Yeah, it does. It does. But honestly, I can't wait to show you the icon. Oh, upper claw. Wait, that has priority, does it? Oh, no, I'm gonna lose. I mean, how, how fast is Clever Girl? Clever Girl's pretty fast. Um, interesting. I do a thousand, um, 2,500 or 1,000. Yeah, we'll use the Dina Kairos. Go on, why not? It's 131. Bet you didn't see that coming, bucko. 65% Yeah, I, I mean... I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I've been... Just away from this game for so... Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You know what you're gonna do. You want the upper claw back again, don't you? Oh, you cheeky get you. Yeah, you do. Oh, wait, what? Something come... What are you doing? Do you have a priority? Anticipation. Uh... Okay, well... Anticipation you may. Do you get like 100% armor or something? I, th I think you're dead. Your best bet was not that. Okay. Yeah, your, your best bet was probably just to switch into Clever Girl and go for the upper claw again. But Hobbit. Hobbit, what are you like? Oh dear, Hobbit. Or oh, Hubert, which is probably the name. I just find Hobbit but more funny. 12 minutes, come on. We gotta get one more 3 nil victory and then another one. And then at least, at least I've given the thousand cups to my... My peeps. Um, I don't know. I would love to see what the the player base for this looks like now. Because, I mean, that's the thing. Like, the, the whole Rexy situation got out of hand. We had Rexy. Then we had Tyrannometrodon. And then we had this thing. The Rexy 93. Which, you know, for all intents and purposes, for what I've been saying for the longest time, celebrities, brawlosaur, like celebrity dinosaurs, brawlosaurs, bring them back, that, you know, tie in the... The, the, the toys and whatnot. And yet they did it so wrong. They made this thing like... Well, they, they made it nothing... I mean, apart from it looking like the toy, it's got nothing to do with the toy. And th the thing is, it came out. This T-Rex 993 came out and yet nothing to do with this. Um, so there's no tie in there to the actual toy, which would have, could have been cool and could have boosted sales for them, I suppose. Uh, it is one of the best, I'll admit, it's one of the best T-Rexes that Mattel have ever made. It's rubber, it's got great action features, it's it's uh, ele electronic to an extent, I think. It's got a voice. Really freaking good toy. Um, but they, they made it, in, like in here, in this, they made it a, a what you call it? What's it called? Omega. No idea why. Just because Omega's the newest thing and it's 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 a trend with Jurassic World Live. They introduce one thing. Oh god, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I maybe I should have attacked it. Oh no, we're good. That's fine. Um and then we'll go for this. Um They they introduced one thing, like they introduced the flocks, which was cool. And then they kept on introducing the flocks. And then we ended up with a flock meta. So what did Ludia have to do or Gem City? They had to reel it back and make things that counted flocks. And now flocks aren't even used. Like the frog has been in the game for so long and yet nothing has been really done with it. It's a, it's a creature that could, has, it has a good thing, like the affliction where it can lower the abilities. And I think other things have it now because I've seen an Omega hit me with affliction. I think that was the Megalania. But still, God damn. Uh, you know what? I'll switch to Mirigaya. I'll switch to Mirigaya. Oh, no escape! Ooh, I didn't even know that! I could have done a big hit to you! How silly of me. Uh, well, I guess I'll just kill you with the, uh, Tani Calagrius. Wow, I'm actually gonna do it. I'm actually going to win! I can't believe it! Sweet. Yes, this is fun. This is fun. Like, back to the basics. No, none of all these boosts. The, the uh, like what? What's the other thing that's in the game? The the capsules. 
Oh, d d d I don't even care about those. Couldn't give any sort of care in the world for the um the ca catalysts. I think that's it. Catalysts. Remember those? The boosts. Catalysts. Whatever the Omega things have. Um, apparently, they're going to be giving other creatures catalysts or something like that. I don't even know, man. I think that's the problem. They, they got lost in the source when they made this game. And for some odd reason, I mean, I know why. Like, imagine if all of a sudden this game stopped and they were like, oh, we're making a sequel. Or we're, we're, we're just going to start over. We've learned from our mistakes. They can't. Is he going to go for instant? If he goes for instant, well done. But also, I'm going to get out of there, so it's not really well done. But hey-ho. Um, oh, wait, I'm immune anyway. No. Oh, it was terrible for him. It was a terrible play. Hey, we got the 1,000. Whoop, 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 whoop. I mean, there you go. Um, so, yeah. It's it's an interesting position because, like, with Jurassic Park Builder, Jurassic Park Builder ended. And everyone who spent money on the game didn't get their money back. And the game's gone. And... This game will eventually go that way. I don't know when, I don't know where, how, what, but eventually everything that I've put into the game, everyone else has put in, all the whales, everything like that, it probably will disappear. I mean, if we, it, like how many dinosaurs are in the game now? Are we going to say in five years time, there's going to be, oh yeah, Jurassic World Alive, the, the game with 800 dinosaurs and you use about 100 of them. I can't, I can't see it. I mean, I can. But also, I can't. Uh, I, I hope. I hope that it doesn't do that. But it just feels like this game, it it, it, it really needs something. Oh, why'd I go for a stun? That was silly. I made a misplay. Um, I, I don't know what it could do to bring me back. Like I said, I'll play the game when I think there's something interesting to show. And... Yeah, I should have done that. I should have done that to start with. I don't, oh, no, no, I don't think it would come back, actually. So, well, well done. Well done, you. Um, it's got a lot of devours on it. Oof. That's a good Toro at level 11, actually. Well done, well done. All of that free health. But you have anything that goes through dodge? Uh, you do. Horn devour. Ah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I'm stupid, yeah. Decelerating cleanse! Am I immune to it? No. No, I'm not immune to it. Have you got it back already? No, you don't. But you do have angry whatevers. Uh, do you have anything about swapping out? Uh, I guess I could, sure. Right, what does this even do? It gives you a dodge, gives you armor, and gives you attack. Does your attack go down? Not really. Not really. Okay. Well, Raptor's coming out. Uh, you don't have speed, but you are slowly getting health back. Might as well do how. If I go through the dodge, you might be dead. No, I didn't go through the dodge. That's a bugger. Reduces attack. Goes for this thing. Oh my god! Well, we've definitely... You know what? Actually, this is perfect. I only needed one takedown, and he's gonna get his three. This, is, this couldn't have went better for him, actually. I'm happy. I, I do not care about progressing my trophies. I, I don't know if it's still the same, but you win 30 trophies, obviously, when you win a match. And then when you lose a match, you lose 30 trophies. So the thing is, you could spend ages, finally you get a victory. You're like, oh, yes, I've gone up a little bit. And then the next game, you face up against someone who just, whose creatures are just unlimitedly, you know, they're just way better than you. Um, and you lose it. And it's like, wow, all that time for that one win, lost straight away. Uh, yeah, sure, go on, kill me. A dire wolf at level 20. Well done, dude. Well done. Well done. The Alpha Huntress. Ooh, look at you. And they see I lost 30 cups there as well. So like, there's like no point in actually trying to progress. Plus, I'm only going to be getting, what is it? Uh, the Diplodocus DNA. Anyway, I want to show you the freaking new dinosaur. Let me just get the rivathavetus. Not that I really even care about you, I'll be honest. New dinosaurs. There we go. We've got the Cryolophosaurus with all of its attacks. You've got the Borea Pelter with all of its... I love that one. Surely that's not the actual logo. It can't be. Just... Ah, times two. I think that mustn't be. Vestispinus. We've got that. 
we've got the car car on us, which is interesting because fans of Jurassic Park Builder will recognize that it looks very similar to the car car in that, except of course the color's not dark and yellow, but the, the, the head shape of it is very familiar. That had a huge head. Um, then we've got Ungolatus, Ungol, with its skeleton weird pattern on it. Again, a stegosaur, that's nice to see. The Conchrysaurus, which is the Concavenator, and Fukuisaurus, which is interesting. Uh, probably going to be here. I mean, they go Fierce Rampage, which obviously does damage. Heals get shield. Go all this uh, Shattering Devour Counter Strike going through shield, gaining some health back. Interesting. Uh, the Conchodorus, Conchodosaurus, which is the Tenotosaurus and the Conchacuisaurus. Okay, so it's this. It's that one mixed with another one. So it does the Heelys. It does even more Heelys. It has a counter gaining, I'm assuming, uh, health and uh, an attack. It heals when enemy swaps. And at the end of turn, if armor increased, target lower speed opponent, attack 0.5. So if you've increased your speed, oh sorry, your armor, which uh, you have one move that does it, you do a counter attack. So you don't even need to be attacked in order to have that activated, which is something we're going to get into. But this, Scoo Name Trodon. I'm just going to call it Scoo Name. I know you're trying to say Scoo uh, Scoo Name Trodon, but uh, this thing is the Tyrannometrodon and the Scoonosaurus, being that giant sauropod. But if we just have a look at these icons, hold on, where's my favorite? This can't be the icon that they're going to go with, surely. Yeah, but but the thing is, how how on earth can you convey all of that into an icon? Alert counter. <laughs> like, what even can you do with that? It's beautiful. So, I think, do they, new abilities. Here we go, here we go. Where are we? Okay, so, you've got counter attack. Uh, 0.33 times 2. Here we go. Th this is it. This this is where we get into the ridiculous. This is alert strike. So, I mean, I'm going to assume just by looking at it, it gains devour. It's armor piercing. It goes through cloak. It gains armor and it attacks. Although saying that, actually, it might be a case of, yeah, HP above 50% is the right side and below 50% is the left side. And I think that's true. So it goes through cloak, does a hit and gains armor. But if you blow 50, you get the devour and you go through shield and you go through uh, armor as well. Uh, alert impact. Again, this dinosaur, this uh, Tyrannoscoon, whatever it is, all of its moves are dependent on its HP. So it completely changes. And it feels as though, again, this is another dinosaur that is just going to completely sweep the meta when it comes in. Alert impact. Again, looks like does normal hit, reduces speed. If it's above 50% below 50%, however, it has armor piercing and destroys shield and devour. Heal 50% of the damage dealt. It's not even shown in the image, but it has devour too. Uh, alert defensive rampage. Again, another one. Uh, does it have priority all the time? Yes, it does. It cleanses all negative effects if it's plus 50%. Uh, you gain a shield. Uh, for four, sorry, two turns. You gain 25% armor and your opponent becomes vulnerable for four turns. Interesting. But if you're threatened, self HP 5% or less. You have to literally just be alive for this to become active. So if you're in that situation, uh, <clears throat> you attack twice, bypassing armor, and you heal 80% of damage dealt, which is crazy. Uh, so... This is the hilarious one. It's just like, here, all stats. So if your HP is above 50%, you get rid of all negative aspects. You feel great about your life. Uh, then your team, you increase your damage and speed for 25% for everyone. So it's going to be used for a lot of raids, I can imagine. Uh, but yourself, you increase damage, your speed, but you sacrifice 51% of your max health. So once you use this, all your other abilities, kind of, except for that one that's 5% less health, become active. Um, however, if you already have less than 50%, um, oh wait, hold on. Also, uh, your opponent, uh, his damage is increased by 100% for one turn. Uh, interesting. Right, here's the interesting bit. If you're threatened and you use this, um, you target yourself, you gain 75% of your max HP back, 
you remove all effects and use shield 100%. So you basically heal, you get everything, like you cleanse yourself basically, and then you get invincibility for one turn. Uh, but the thing is, do you have a counter? Well, yes, of course you have a counter. Here it is. Alert counter, I think. Everything's alert from this guy. It's the same one. Um, so, it also, this one is dependent on how much damage you've taken. So, counterattack, HP over 50%. You destroy shields. You do 0.5% of your normal attack. But if you're threatened, uh, you don't. Oh, you do. You bypass dodge. Right. So, above 50% health, get rid of shield. Below 50% health, get rid of dodge. How complicated do you want these things to be? It's like, oh, what? We play like 4D freaking chess or something. And not only does it have all those crazy moves, but reactive ability. At the end of turn, if currently fielded, opponent HP 10, it, sorry, HP 10% uh, or less, target self. You cleanse damage reduction. Target current, uh, okay. You current, what? Target current lowest HP opponent. Destroy the shields. Attack for just 10,450, just flat. Uh, bypassing armor and dodge. So basically, if you are facing this thing and you've just managed to cling on with 10% of your health, this ability just becomes active and it goes, nah, you're dead. And it, I don't know why they've specifically put 10,450 attack. Like specifically that, bypassing armor and dodge. There is no way for you to... I mean, it says attack for that much damage. I don't think it must... It must be dependent. I hope it's dependent on the actual dinosaur itself. Because otherwise, it doesn't matter if your attack's reduced. Because you're, you're doing 10,450 uh, attack. Um, a new feature, Apex Enhancements. So, we're bringing Apex Enhancements and more improvements to the Apex ecosystem. Apex. So, all of the Morton Rex, Anklos Lux, all of them are now going to be able to have extra things added to them. That is, well, enhancements. Let's, let's go, let's jump back into the game for a second. So, enhancements. Once it, you know, decides to load, because I have uh, just loaded in after it should have updated and everything on the map should have clocked over. Yes, so now we've got lots of epics and even more of the Omegas. Sweet! Uh, so yes, if we go to these, I think that's what he's talk it's talking about, are these things. Uh, so now, not only are there, like, specific dinosaurs that you can put them on, and I don't even know if there was specific dinosaurs, I think every dinosaur, up to a certain sort of- I, I Oh no, it was all of these, that's right, you could only put them on these. That's right, you could only put them on unique creatures, I completely forgot, there's just so much, can you blame me? Really? Oh, please say you, you can't. Um, so yeah, you can only put enhancements on uniques. So it made uniques kind of interesting. However, now you can start putting enhancements on apexes. So you can put, you can get an extra 10% attack, health, two speeds, an extra boost. And then they just get an extra ability. I'm assuming it's depend, like, like this one, the scorpion gets reactive, which I'm assuming... It reduces attack. Oh, sorry, reduces speed. Maybe attack something as well to do as doing damage. I mean, it already has something like that already. The shattering antidote. But then I guess it'll make them. I don't know. The speed will. If they, if they try and swap, maybe their speed will be reduced or something ridiculous. Anyway, there is just far, far too much in this game. There are a plethora of reasons to no longer play this game. But what my the most abhorrent feature for me is the fact that it's just too complicated now. There are too many dinosaurs. There is not, well, let's be honest, there's never too many dinosaurs. But the way they're handled in this game is too complicated. There's too many moves. There's too many stats to go around. Like, Pokemon's complicated, but it's still knowable. Like, there's crits. There's certain things I can rely on. However, in this game, it's like, no, no, no. I got 25% chance to do this. I've got, you know, a 33% chance of this going through. I've got a resistance of 75% on, on this. I've got armor. I've, it's just ridiculous. And I feel like 
the people who are playing it, including myself, we're in too deep now. It's like, well, we can't stop because if you stop, the, you, there's very little chance of you managing to get back into it and understanding what you're doing. Um, if you're competitive, you have to live, breathe it. You have to know everything about the new things that are going in. And oh, I do miss the days of it being simpler. I understand, I, like, when this game first came out, and the music stopped again, another lovely glitch there. Uh, when the game first came out, I, I praised it for how complicated it was uh, in comparison to something like Pokemon Go. I was like, you know, it needs to be a bit like this. But then it just got, it, it just became too much. It became too much about stats. It became too much about microtransactions. I mean, you just go into the market. There's so many emotes now. I was having a look the other day. If we're going here, look. Like, what, we, what even is that for an emo? This. Why? Why do we have an Easter Island head? There, there's the big chin thing. And the, another hundred pound. Another hundred pound. Another hundred pound. Another hundred pound. Oh, Rexy said. A 50 quid. A 50 quid. Bad enough. We're taking money from the whales. The 99 pounds. But it's just like, now we're going to milk everyone. Everyone. Maybe you can't afford the hundred pound, huh? Well, how about a fiver? <laughs> it's like, why are you- ah! I, I can't have fun with it because there's just so many negative things. Every video will just become about me going, I hate this. I, I don't know why they've done this. I hate this more. Yeah, Geostone Berger. There's so many things this game does well. The, oh, except for this bloody cutting the music out. Uh, the models are great. Yes, sometimes the animations, if not all the time, are, are the same. They just, you know, lift them, put them on a different thing, and it's like, ah, it's fine. Which makes sense. Just World Evolution did it. You know, you got five, six, seven different types of the same Stegosaur with different names, slightly different sizes. Sure, use the same rig. It's just a shame that all of these beautiful models are in this kind of game. Anyway, guys, I just want to make a quick update um, because... I know a lot of people might be asking, oh, what about Jurassic World Live? Where is it? Will we see it again? For me personally, I'm only going to play it if I find it fun. And unfortunately for the past three months, it hasn't. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to trick myself uh, into doing it anymore. Uh, it's not gone. It's just, I'm waiting for it to get better. They've added some cool things in. Like I said, the calendar books seem to come way more often now. Like, I, I logged in one day, you just got 450 bucks. Like, so like, what? What's all that about? Like, this is the... But this is the VIP, plus 50% daily gift. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I am a VIP. That's right, because I got bigger dart range. So, yeah, maybe it was from that that I got it. The regular rewards, I don't think, are as good. But from the VIP, it was pretty decent. And you get, you do, like, 450 of the Archaeopteryx, like, Microraptor, I'd get there, I think. And then this would probably be, about like 300 of that. Um, so... There, but again, it's a paywall. I didn't even realize it, but I was like, oh, wait, yeah. I am paying for VIP from this. Ha, huh, maybe I should cancel that. <laughs> the only reason I don't cancel Jurassic World the game is because, like, if you cancel it, you're going to lose everything. <laughs> Whereas this, you know, what, what, I lose, like, my range a little bit. I'm good. I'll play this on the train. Don't matter. I, there you go. Anyway, guys, I love that the... Um, these guys, they, they fly backwards. That's another lovely touch. I love that they fixed that. I didn't like the way they flew normally. That is much better. Anyway, guys, just a quick video. Sorry I've rambled on. That's basically all this video has been. I wish there was something fun I could show you. I really do. I wish I could be enthusiastic and be like, this is it. This is such a cool dino. I love this. Level it up. Let's, let's think about mechanics and stuff. But I can't because of the way the game is. Can't have fun. Don't have the resources. And you say that, I, well, I've got 12,000 bucks. Well, you might be right. That would disappear within two seconds. And I'll level up one dinosaur. Especially with the coin. Because that the coin is what allows you to level up. Anyway, I'll be here for another 10 minutes arguing about that. Anyway, watch all the other series I've got on the channel. I have so much more fun. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.